lots to be excited about, and we are thrilled to welcome in the aforementioned Jeff Skinner, youngest to win the Calder. We were so used to seeing you as a cane. Now you're a saber. How does that sound? Uh, sounds, sounds pretty good. I think uh, I'm excited to get going. I think uh, that's a nice thing about uh, it being August already. It's, it's almost almost training camp, and uh, I'm excited to, to get to work. Jeff, you had a no-movement clause in your contract. When did Carolina approach you and talk about a trade? Um, it was sort of an ongoing process throughout the summer. I think there was some uh, discussion uh, with my agent in, in Carolina uh, leading into the draft, and then and then on draft day there was uh, there were some more discussions about some teams. Uh, uh, but then sort of. Uh, then the only the only trade really that was brought to me was was the the Buffalo trade, uh, but there had been discussions I think throughout the summer. A lot of times during the summer, players will work to improve a particular area of their game. We hear skating. In your case, that's not necessary. What do you want to work on and improve this summer? Um, I think just overall, you want to become a better better hockey player, better athlete. I think you you go into a summer. I think as as you get older, you have the advantage of, of sort of knowing what's worked for you in the past and uh, what what sort of your body reacts to as as far as uh, what kind of training you need, how much training you need, and and those types of things. And I think uh, you try and sort of draw on all those experiences and and uh, come into the next training camp uh, as fit as you can, and 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 also hopefully a, a better hockey player than uh, than uh, than you were previously. Jeff, you. Uh waived uh, that no trade clause to move to Buffalo. What made the the Sabres the right fit for yourself? I think the first thing that jumps out is is sort of the young core group of players they have there and and, and how exciting and, and talented they are. I think that that's uh that's probably number 1 and then um I think you just you try and do your your homework. I think you 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 talk to players that uh, uh may have played there in the past that 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 you sort of know through 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 hockey. Uh, I've had a few friends uh, play there in the past, and sort of everything they talked about from ownership to management to the city and fans. I think uh, it was all positive. So um, that was that was definitely uh, good to hear. And and uh, yeah, I think that that combined with sort of the the good group of young guys they have, it's uh, it's a it's a nice little recipe, and and that's why I'm so excited. And Sabres fans are excited to get you. We remember you coming into the league and winning the Calder as an 18-year-old. You were the youngest to ever win that. When you think back on your time with the Canes, what stands out in your mind in terms of a favorite moment? Um, I don't know. I think, I think, as as many guys would say, probably being drafted was was, was pretty cool. I think getting the opportunity to play in the NHL that's uh, something as as a kid you sort of dream of, and and then sort of. Uh, to see it sort of become a reality is, is a pretty special moment for, for not only me, but for, for my family and friends and sort of everyone that's supported you around, along the way. Um, so, so that sort of jumps out at first. Uh, and, and then I think sort of when you look at the bigger picture, I think um, it's sort of just sort of a, a blend of a lot of things. I think the people you meet, uh, whether it's the sort of the staff on the team, the equipment staff, training staff, or uh, all, all the teammates I got to play with there and, and sort of all the relationships and friendships you're able to form, those, those, are, those are sort of what I'll, uh, what I'll sort of take with me and, and sort of, uh, I think, remember the most. Jeff, you talked about uh, that young Buffalo team. You've played eight years in the NHL, but you're still fairly young. But do you t see yourself taking on a leadership role with the Sabres? Um, I hope I hope I can chip in with that. I think as as you get older, I think, and, and uh, uh, the more players you're around and, and sort of older players, younger players, the, the sort of more things you can, I think, um, draw on for sort of past experiences, uh, not only yours, but but sort of teammates that uh, may have gone through a different situation or teammates that may have gone through the same situation sort of and, and taken a different approach. So um, I hope, hopefully I can sort of bring that to me, uh, to, to the Sabres. I think uh, it's sort of something that as, as a player and as a person, you're sort of always looking to improve upon and, and evolve. So uh, hopefully I can continue to improve that. To serve the rabid hockey fans in Buffalo, we have to share your history as an elite youth figure skater championship level we've got video of this it's part of your story it's remarkable to see just how gifted you were you were a prodigy when you think back on that experience and how it's benefited you what comes to mind uh, i think for me just 
been on the ice. I think that uh, if I were to go on figure skates now, I'd probably make a fool of myself. But when you're when you're a younger kid, I think it, it's sort of the, the different skate blades don't really make as much of a difference. And for me, I think just having the opportunity uh, given to me by my parents to sort of spend that much time in a rink on the ice uh, just I think just made me a little bit more comfortable and. Uh, on my edges or, or on my skates than, than I would have been with, without having done it. So that's probably the, the, the biggest thing. You are a terrific <laughs> skater to watch. Thanks so much for joining us, and good luck this year with the Sabres. Thank you. Thanks for having me.